Yo. Oh. Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? Good to see you all. Yo. Man, I really need another boom arm. I hate this mic stand. <laughs> I also absolutely cannot stand at all YouTube's new YouTube studio thing. I'll show you this. Hey, Indra, what's up? This thing is probably going to pull up. Maybe this will do it. Yeah, there we go. This YouTube studio is horrible. It's so bad. And it makes everything so, like, just difficult and, like, unnecessarily convoluted. Like, last night, for example... I scheduled a video, this video, the Max Cooper tutorial. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out. I scheduled a video for 1.30 p.m. today. Um, and then, for whatever reason, when it actually, like, when I was looking at the video page on my, like, you know, under videos or whatever, it just kept saying that it was private or it was, like, a draft or whatever. And then I checked it, 1.30 today, and sure enough, the scheduled video didn't upload. It just, it just stayed private. It's so annoying, dude. Like. Go back to YouTube Creator Studio. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to be salty today. But what's up, guys? It's good to see you all. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. I, uh, I don't know. That's about all that I, uh, that I really have to say. <laughs> Yo, Onset. Hello. Hello, man. How's it going? Indra. Eve. Dude, how you guys doing? Good to see you all. Glad you guys are uh, enjoying sitting through my waffling. <laughs> One sec. All right, we are live. We back. Sorry about that. I had to do something real quick. Um. Anyway, no man digital. Hola, what's up? Been in a little creative slump. Looking forward to creating again. Hey, I feel you, man. Well, yeah, we all, we all get there sometimes. I mean, the thing that I find. Okay, sorry about that. The thing that I find helps with creative slumps is like you need to set like strict guidelines or like strict parameters for yourself for example in my create like i had a bit of a creative slump after i released that song last year the ones yeah not the best song ever but uh <laughs> i released that and then like i didn't really know like where i wanted to go from there and so what i did was i told myself okay i'm going to just stick to like a certain a certain type of thing also harry wolford thank you for subscribing um Wonder if you are related to Paul Wolford. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, um, you know, when you get into these kind of slumps, you need to just set kind of like strict guidelines for yourself. Like basically, what I've done is I've gone and just said I'm gonna make techno in this one particular style. And you can see all of these tracks I've turned out since setting those parameters for myself. And they're all pretty like consistent too. Like this is the first one that I made in this style. And this is the last one that I made, so I want to show you that because I'm really proud of that vocal. But like I was saying, um, yeah, when you set like these really like strict parameters for yourself, in this case, it was like, okay, I'm gonna make 130 BPM te type techno 
with like some rumble kicks, you know, kind of like some big trancey epic synths as well, like with the. With the breakdown and like the drops and stuff. And yeah, like when you do that, I feel like it kind of like gives you, uh, gives you the direction. So that's what, that's what I definitely recommend doing if you're in a creative slum. Just tell yourself like, yo, I'm going to make this type of song and I'm going to make as many of this type of song as I can. Because <laughs> then that will lead you to other doors. Like, if you think of it, and think of it as, like, a hallway. It's, like, creativity. It's, like, you can go down this hallway, and you can keep going down the same hallway, or you can open another door and go down another hallway, and then you can open another door. You know, it's, like, once you just start walking, the doorways will open them themselves up to you, basically, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I sent you a track, Man, it's on release. Okay, cool, on set. I will, I will pull that up. Um... Yeah, I'm doing a feedback stream today, guys, so if you want to send tracks to, all the info is in the description. Donations, very greatly appreciated. I'll be playing the donations first. Um, so, like, if you want to skip if you want to skip the line, you can send a donation. If you want to, I don't know, get my, help me out, <laughs> you can also send a donation. Sorry, I'm trying to put this link in the Discord really quick, and then I'm going to uh, gonna get going on these submissions. But yeah, if you guys want to send tracks to you, like I said, all of that is in the description. Send them on through. <laughs> all right. Hey man, what up? Pat, good to see you, dude. Kemzito, hello. Dude, I'm good. I'm very good. I just woke up <laughs> like an hour ago. I answered all my emails and that is that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> okay, let me pull up the uh let me pull up the email. Also, since you since I'm giving you guys feedback, I'm gonna play you this new techno track that I just made. I made this literally in one day yesterday, but tell me what you guys think. Oh, I'll skip into like here. I should just play it from like here. Okay, I'm gonna skip forward a little.
Okay, so that's basically where I'm at with that one. <laughs> but hey, I'm glad you guys like that track. Yeah, I wanted to see, honestly, like, like I said, made that in one day. But what I was trying to do was I was trying to make a little bit of a different type of structure. Like, I've made a few tracks recently where the structure is basically this. Like, this song exemplifies it, actually. You can see, long intro. Super long intro, actually. I think that's, like, two minutes of intro. And then there's, like, one... Big break in the middle. And then the drop again. And so I was trying to get out of that, so I made this track where you can see we actually have like three little mini breaks. This one is more like, it's not meant to be like a super epic, like crazy thing, like this track, for example, that I was playing. It's meant to be like a nice, you know, hard hitting techno track that you can play in a set and it's going to, uh, Give you some vibes. Hey, thank you very much, Michael Stuff. I'm, I can see that being in a gaming montage. Nice. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, good to see you, Michael. Tim Tito, I like this. Thank you, dude. We'll do that. Still don't understand. Hey, yeah, the Discord verification. I'm not sure what happened there. I think one of the mods actually clicked something. Um, But I changed it back now, guys, so you don't have to give phone verification. Like I said, I think that was an accident. I don't care. You guys don't need to, like, verify yourselves to me or anything like that. I don't know what's going on, but I did change that, like, an hour ago, I think, when I first got up. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Um, other people were saying that as well. <laughs> hey, thank you, Steak Taco Beats. I appreciate it. Hey, the, what do you mean, oh, the wrench? Oh, you want to be a mod. Hey, you have to, you got to come here more than one time. <laughs> Yo, what happened to the Discord? Yeah, like I said, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Yo, drum code lover, what's up? Want to see on my FLP Nation. Me too, dude. <laughs> dude, you gotta send me uh, some new music. I'd love to hear some of your new stuff. Use a Google Voice number. You could also do that. But like I said, I think the, uh, pretty sure the Discord, you don't have to do that anymore. I don't know what happened. Sounds really cool. Could definitely dance to this. Thank you, Intra. Dreams. Kat Yo, Kathy Chat, what's up? Good to see you again, bro. I sent you a track I made today. Nice. Well, I just play played you guys a track. That, uh, that I made in one day. So now we're going to hear some other tracks from you guys. That you made in one day. <laughs> um, to understand. Yeah, not sure why that happened, Pat. Sounds really good. Thank you. Two minute intro. Perfect. Big break. And drop. I'm a True, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, I like those kind of tracks too. Like, this one I still think is one of the best techno tracks I've made. Like, especially... With this break and stuff. But it's like, if you look at the waveforms of all these tracks I made, they all look like really similar. Alright, that one's loading, but yeah, like they all look really similar. Like, I just feel like I want some more variation in there. And this one, same deal. Big break in the middle, and then it's just a drop the whole way through. Uh, play some Skate 3, you scrub. <laughs> Hey, buddy, what's up? Dude, I'm about to start doing a Skate 3 stream. Julian Earl sample pack? Soon, actually. I've been uh, been talking with some people. We go out with a new EP. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jerome Code Lover. Dude, more techno is coming very, very soon, I promise. 21 programs are slowing down your computer. Hey, bro. There's no way to know which which... 21 programs. They just say that it's 21 random programs. Like, for all I know, it could be Ableton just as much as it could be Microsoft Paint. <laughs> Game 3 stream one very soon. <laughs> I need to go outside BRB in 20. Okay, cool. But yeah, I'll I'll pull it up. Nice production skills. Thank you, Jeb. Pretty darn epic. Thank you. You are pretty darn epic. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Julian. Hi, chat. Bobby Paris. What is up, bro? All right, let me post on my Instagram story, then I'm live real quick, and then we are going to be checking out the submissions. I got a donation from Lewis. Thank you very much for the donation, man. I don't know why it didn't go ding, but thank you so much. I will play your track first. Like I said, if you guys want to skip the line, send a donation. Um, if you want more detailed feedback, send a donation as well. I gave a lot more detailed feedback to donations. But yeah, all right, let's make a post here. I'm live.
Okay, there we go. Back to life. Joanna, I sent you a new banger. Nice. <laughs> Made a page for FreeBSDs on Reddit. It's called r slash FreeBSDs. FL or Ableton? Definitely Ableton. Um, huh. I feel like I've been on that subreddit before. Funk and Blues. What's up? Joanna, I sent you. All right, nice. I'm Nation. Yeah, I'm going to be pulling these up now. I'm going to get retro sounds in there. Dude, I got to check that out. Um, all right, cool. Well, let's play some submissions. So. This first one here is from Lewis. Track. Hope you like. Thank you again for the donation, man. Let's see this. Oh, dude, if you're sending a private link, you got to do this. You got to go to the, uh, you got to hit share like that. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, if you do that and send it, I will pull it up immediately. I just, I can't pull it up because the link didn't work with that one. Anyway, in the meantime, this next one here is from Nomad Digital. So, so. Let's hear this. Oh, this is gonna be some uh Reminds me of Juice so far. <laughs> I sample that burp royalty free. Yep, but only you. Nobody else gets it royalty free. Everybody else has to pay me a hundred dollars for the burp, but you get it for free. <laughs> we were in love with the sun. Oh, I've heard this before. We were in love with the sun, sipping on cold and rum. My head up in the clouds, but when I look back now, ain't nothing else I would do. Our troubles all right, cool, all on the rocks. Our troubles all on the rocks, filling our plastic cups. Down by the riverside, we spent those long hot nights until the sky turned blue. When I spent the summer on you. Hey, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty tight. I like this so far. I think... I like how you didn't just make the regular old selected style, like, deep house drop, which, nothing wrong with that, but that sound has definitely been done quite a bit at this point. So it's good to hear you do, like, something a little bit different with that type thing. Oh, the kick is like missing the high end here. It's gonna be back. All right, I think you ADD. I like that. I like that. That's cool, but it sounds a little out of key. Yeah, dude, like, overall, this sounds good. The vibe I'm getting from this, though, is it kind of feels like a template to me. Like, it feels like this is the thing that, like, I would make in, like, one of those videos where I make, like, a track from scratch. Like, I feel like what you could do is you can take this and you can just make it come to life a lot more. Like, give it a more... better structure like for example you kind of just have what basically feels like a drop going into a drop you need more of a build-up or like something kind of going into it there you know and same thing here there's not really much of a build like it kind of just all of a sudden there's a reverse crash and you're in the drop but that doesn't really like it doesn't really flow you know so that's what you need to work on anyway i think you're saying that one through the normal digital this next one is from Lewis. Here we go. Let's not take me. Yeah, I mean, you know, just got to work on it a little bit more. It's definitely cool, though. Like I said, I think you have something interesting, but it's just not quite there yet. No good for me. You got a tip to walk up on KXP, 90.3 FM, live on the web at kxp.org. Ian was in there. His artwork is cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yo, so this one's not bad, dude. But like, I think you're on the right track. Our movies beat. All right, cool. Long time no see, bro. Pooper pants. What's up? Dude, I weirdly just remembered you from like way back in the day. Uh <laughs> before uh before I had Wow. How you doing, man? I'll sing. Yeah, I get where you're going with like the swing here, but that's probably the first critique I was gonna give. It feels a little bit like not synced up to me at some points. Like that little thing there, like some of the notes being off the grid, like, that's good, but you have to, like, you don't just want it to be off the grid just for the sake of being off the grid. Like, you want it to be off the grid in a way that works. That's the challenge. Another name from We Are The Music Makers. Oh, yeah, dude. Wow, hello, Random Wave. Good to see you. The vocal sample, yeah, it's a little questionable. I mean, overall, Lewis, this one, I get where you're trying to go. The other thing is, like, I think it's very repetitive. Like, I play you, like, I'm not sure if this is exactly the vibe that you're going for, but, like, let's listen to, say, where is it at? Let's listen to, like, Joy Orbison, for example. Like something kind of similar, like future garagey, kind of like choppy, weird swing type beats. He's doing a lot of similar stuff where it's like the same kind of thing over and over. Same thing with this track, too. It's constantly doing new things. There are always like new things happening. And that's what I feel like you need to work on. Is just try and make it uh build up a bit more. I'm gonna go back and binge. Ah nice. <laughs> it reminds me a bit of some Daft Punk stuff, very cool. It's not bad if I track Missy Man, internet was off. Oh dude, that sucks. I was the mod, been a while though. Yeah, sure, dude. Send it through random waves. Well, good to see you again. Well, yeah, so like I said, Lewis, I think you're on the right track. You definitely got something kind of interesting here. You just got to keep working with it and keep uh, improving it. But yeah, thank you for sending that one through, Lewis. This next one here is from... Who is the next one from? From Indra, let's hear this. House as usual. How to beat the beat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now we're just opening everything that I didn't mean to open. Nice. House as usual. How to beat the beat block. Let's find out. Where can I send my track? Kevin, all the info's in the description. Donations greatly appreciated. Yeah, this is off to a good start. Thank you. 
Nice. Now, what I feel like is going on here that uh, that could improve is I feel like the sound's gonna have a bit more texture. Like the drums are a bit flat sounding in particular. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, like the drums, I mean they just don't really have a lot of character and like texture to them. Like I feel like you could just kinda bring them to life a little bit more. And obviously, you know, give it a full arrangement. I like this wave. Yeah, that's a very chill vibe. I like these chords, dude. But yeah, overall, not a bad one intro. Like I said, dude. Just gotta keep working on it, keep uh, improving it, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, thank you for sending that one through. This next one is from Onset. Don't make me stop. Currently unreleased. Nice. Let's hear this. Off to a good start. <laughs> Man. I sent it. All right, thank you, random ways. I'll do that. I agree with them. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a simple thing, you know. Put some drum bus on them. Some other kind of stuff. Not too crazy. This one's cool. It's getting a bit repetitive though. I kind of wish there'd be like a break. I mean, I guess one is coming. This white thing that are you eating? Yeah, it's yogurt, bruh. Greek yogurt. A full fuse style check? Yeah, I might jack. I mean, it just depends. I've got a lot of requests for them, but we'll see. Next time I'm in. Disco. like the bass. Be uploaded later. No, it'll be uploaded later. You'll be able to go in and see it. So if you missed like your track feedback, I'll probably still check it out. Curtis, good to see you, bro. It's a good track, dude. Yeah. 
What you mean? Minimal D tech soon. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. This kind of has like an arrangement actually similar to the one I was saying like with uh with like a lot of those techno tracks I was making. It's like yeah, the long intro, a big break in the middle, and then another drop. So that's kind of interesting to see it in a house track like this. Anyone here work on pop stuff? Me in the past. <laughs> Kevin Sorrow guys. Random kick threw me off. Cool stuff, sunglasses on. <laughs> Overall, dude, this one's good. It just feels a bit like a template right now because it is very repetitive. Like, there are some defining elements. Like, there's the vocal sample. Bass line's pretty catchy and all that kind of stuff. But, like, other than that, I don't really feel like... I don't really feel like it's finished. Like, it's just... If I skip through any point in this drop... It sounds pretty much the same, just with like less or more elements. And even like in the break, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'd work on that, dude. Just try and give it some more stuff. Maybe do different things with the stuff you already have. Just something to make it a bit more interesting. Because you have a good track here. The mixing is good. The way you set it up is all very professional. But it's just a little boring for me. But yeah, thank you uh, for sending that one through on set. Alright, next one here is from... From Pat, let's hear this. Hey man, start working this new work in progress needs some pad, some extra effects and automations. Hope you like. Let's hear it and see. All genres here. Yeah man, all genres. Send everything. Julian, you're the thank you, Dan. You are the absolute Dan. <laughs> What is happening? Angel Shark! Hello, bruh! Where's the stream run? Go back. Oh, true. But then you won't be here with us. <laughs> oh, this is dark. extra effects and arrangement details i would definitely say yeah that's what you need to work on right now like you have a good vibe here it's kind of reminds me of like something kind of like marshall that Mar i don't know how to say his name bro i don't know how to say any of these names but like something kind of like in this style this is or like this track this track is a lot more sparse than yours there's like a similar vibe, I feel like. Do I have beginner songs? Dude, send the worst beginner songs. Get away with that, but not Swing House too. Yo, Ryan! Thank you for the donation, man. Not sure if you've sent through a track, but if you have, I will check it out. If you haven't, send it through, and I will definitely check it out. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you. And the ongoing support. Latin Facky vibe, yeah. Really gotta go a little bit more closer. Sure, I mean... In the future, you'll be able to go back and watch this. Needs more filter. True. So repetitive burn inside. Like, yeah, I feel it. <laughs> you just gotta do more with, like arrangement and automation and like effects and pads, like you're saying here.
final boss, yeah. You were Detroit style techno? Yeah, I've done one in the past. I gotta do more now. That's a good reminder. I should do one. I have a mix coming out tomorrow. It's not Detroit techno. Yo, yummies to horse. I'm trying boss, yeah. Yeah, so Pat, this one's not awful, dude. You just gotta, like, build it up a bit more. Like I said, like, listen to a track like this. Like, how much texture and space and all that kind of stuff there is there. And that is what you, uh... That's what you need to work on. You need to open this up a little bit more, work on that bass line. Again, give it more automation, more pads, extra effects, and arrangement details. Pretty much like you said there. Just all that kind of stuff. It's not bad, dude. Just got to uh, just gotta keep working on it. Anyway, thank you for sending that one through, Pat. This next one is for him. Catsy Chat. Let's hear this. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> Effects and animation, yeah. High pitch pad, that'd be cool. Evolver, what's up? How's it going, bruh? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dude. This is really cool. And it, yeah, sometimes random ways. If you sent it like just the link with no words, it'll go straight to my spam. Maybe it's that. Space key. Roblox vibes. Yeah, definitely getting that. I'm getting some Cantu Chat vibes as well. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I remember you. Man, sorry you've been in the hospital. I hope you are uh, you're feeling better. That sucks. What happened? How did you get how did you get sent to the hospital? But dude, good to see you back. I definitely remember you. LA Beats, yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Dude, what, DSPR, yo. Good to see you again, too. Much sound here tonight. Yeah, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> now, I think that this is an idea that you can expand upon. It's a very like, for an idea, this is very crazy. For a full song, obviously, needs a little bit more, like, maybe some vocals, you know, an arrangement, all that kind of stuff. But, like, right now, this is really crazy. Like, I love all the little glitchy sounds. Like, imagine if this was just the kick and the clap, you know? With the chords. Like, this is why you gotta add those cool things so you can make awesome stuff like this. What's that tight, tight beat? <laughs> We can hip hop beats, but I try other genres. True. Jake B, thank you for subscribing, dude. Oh, I just got a donation. Miguel, thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate that. I'm gonna pull yours up in a sec. Not sure why I didn't ding, but I will be. I'll be checking that out shortly. Kick flick. How do I submit a track? Send it to the email in the description. Also, good to see you, dude. And donations greatly appreciated. I fell from a balcony while drunk. Oh, dude. Well. You definitely, uh, you definitely could have been a lot worse after that, I guess. <laughs> well, good to hear that you're, that you're doing better now. Ooh. 
But yeah, this was not a bad kind of chat. I love this, dude. I really like this. I think that all you need to do is just give it a more full arrangement, you know? Do a little bit more than take it to a different place. Add some vocals or something. Like, imagine if you got, like, a singer over this. It'd be mind-blowing. Top with set. Yeah, if you made this into, like, a pop song, it would be insane. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> yeah, no problem, dude. My very first completed song. Oh, nice. Resubmitted my track as well. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. I'm gonna pull that up in a second. Yeah, overall kind of chip. I don't have a lot to say with this one. I mean, I think this is, I think this is really fire. Definitely, definitely keep working on this one and get a singer on it. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you for sending that one. All right, let's hear this next one from who who sent the donation. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, let's play this next one, Ryan. Thank you for the donation, man. Yo, Julian, here's my track. Now finished with the mixing and haven't mastered yet. I f oh, okay. I thought this was uh something you said a second ago. Finish the final mix down. Nice. Let's hear it. You made a Discord. Yeah, I got a Discord now. <laughs> Need help looking for tips. Sounds clean so far. Discord link. Steak Taco Beats is at the top of the description. It's right there. You can't miss it. In the description for this stream and all of my videos. So, dude. Yo, Andres. Good to see you. Three, four, ten. Yeah, I'm hitting on the drums too. That clap and the shaker. I like that. That thing is really cool. been able to catch you live stream shows. Thank you very much, Wizzo. I I uh, remember you. Yeah, no problem, bro. Then we was able to get. Oh, really? For some reason, I uh, I feel like I remember you. I don't remember you from comments, like a DM or something. What is your main chat text? Oh, it's the uh, the welcome one. On a bounce. Yes, there's a lot of bounce to it. Ryan, this one is not bad. The mix definitely sounds clean for what's going on here. I do think that you could improve your sounds a little bit. Like, if you just had a better kick and, like, a better clap and maybe, like, some stronger synth sounds. Like, that well, is cool. But, like, you need more interesting stuff like that. Like, how, like, with these main chords and stuff. Your chord progression's pretty cool, though. But yeah, it's mostly with the drums, I guess. Like, I just feel like you can turn the kick. You can get a more, like, bassy kick. It's not bad. You're definitely on the right track, though. Comments on, yeah. <laughs> Where's your live stream schedule? James, it's in the description. This played. I like this lead synth, too. I like how it's doing kind of some different notes that work just really well on this key. Yeah. Like I said, 
Overall, dude, I would just improve the drum sounds a little bit. Like I said, just go through your samples, try to find maybe a little bit less. A little bit boomier samples. This is not bad, though. I see where you're going with this. It sounds good. Um, And yeah, I think we're seeing that one through. And thank you for the donation as well. The next one is from Miguel. Thank you for the donation, Miguel. Let's hear this. Am I trying out Alter Boy? Oh, nice. Yeah, dude. Little Alter Boy. It's a god. I should have never given that secret away. No, actually, I don't care. I like how there's kind of a lot going on. It keeps it interesting. Although the mix is like kind of messy. Work on the front. Yeah, basically just everything that I, I was saying. Roast my jam and ruin my day. I just fell on myself. Roast my jam. This is a ruining your day stream. My demo, please. Hey, if you guys ever want to skip the line, you know, you don't have to uh, just say, hey, listen to my track a bunch of times. Because guess what? If you say that, I'm not going to check it out. <laughs> I mean, not like I'm not going to listen to it, but just because you say my demo, please, in the chat, I'm not just going to be like, yes, I have to open this guy's demo. Let me immediately stop what I'm doing and go listen to it. Like, that just isn't, I don't know. This isn't how it works. But... If you wait patiently, I will check it out for free. Or if you just send over like a two or three or four or five or even ten dollar donation if you're really feeling generous. <laughs> uh, I will check your track out right after this one. Like if you wanna get if you wanna skip the line, just send a small donation. Hey, thank you, Plunderclot. You are too. Yeah, you, you kinda have an idea here, like This is a bit messy. Oh, sorry, bro. No, that's not good, Adrian. I wasn't trying to just put you on blast there. I mean, I just, uh... When I put people on blast, it gets everybody's attention. <laughs> Streamer, listen to me. Yeah. First song, sing with some good tips. All right, dude, well. The main thing I can tell you is your mix kind of sounds like everything is at, like, the same volume. Like, if we analyze, like, let's listen to, like, a house track. Like, let's play something by Solardo. Like, kind of techie house like this. Like, okay. You can hear, like, Certain things are louder and certain things are quieter. Um, like for example, the kick and bass, very loud, very much on top of the mix there. But then like, you can also hear like the hi-hats are pretty loud. The claps are a little bit quieter. The vocal samples are a little bit quieter. So it's like these kinds of things that you need to work on. Also, wow, that is a really trippy picture. What? Uh, anyway, <laughs> right now it feels like everything is kind of the same volume. You need to work on that. And also, like, your build-up. It's all right. Like I said, dude, you just got to keep working on this. Just keep getting a feel for it. Use a better kick as well. Like, listen to the kick here. Like in these tapes and tracks. And then yours. So that's what you need to work on. Dynamics though. Yeah, there's like no dynamics. It's kind of just, it's flat. That's basically what I'm saying. Like all the volume levels are uh, pretty much the same things. 
Hey, Julian, do you have some tips to master an ambient track? I don't want to use compression and things like that when it's only pad and session melodies. Yeah, well, I mean, with ambient music, you just got to get it up to 0 dB. Like, you can use compression on the master. It's just been a lot more open, basically. Like, I don't know. Let me see if I have... I have, like, this little ambient thing that I made a really long time ago. I'll show you. I'll, like, quickly show you because it's not that hard. But this is kind of an interesting thing. Um, Okay, yeah. So we have, like, this. It's just a recording, basically, of a bunch of guitar into a reverb pedal. I think there was a looper involved. Let me skip. So yeah, all you're really trying to do is just get this up to 0 dB. So like, you can do whatever you need to do to do that or to get it to sound good. Like if I want to put some saturation on here maybe. And then we'll get a limiter. of the gang like this is really all you need to do it's not as complicated as as you might think with sausage fattener on the master <laughs> it will sound clean af getting her eyebrows done was good then well dude how's it going are you uh dude you gotta get your eyebrows done <laughs> you should get your eyebrows done for a video you should just do a video where you have like full makeup on and just don't even address it at all like just don't say anything like everybody just has to like See it and be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> that was really random. Okay. Drop a D in the chat if you donated. Yeah. Drop that D. All right. Um, sounds like he got pretty limited on. That's the Zen on the... <laughs> <laughs> went sausage fanner on the master. Yeah, just put like five sound good answers, dude. That's all you need. Um, Thank you, man. No problem, Lucas. Yeah, it's not hard. It's like, it's just a lot more open to interpretation. Like, it's not like house music where it's like, okay... Got to get the, the bass to sound this fat. Got to get the kick to sound this fat. All that. You just want it to be loud and powerful as you want. I mean, I guess maybe choose, like, a reference track, like, and just use it more lightly. Like, for example, I would probably go and listen to, like, Abandoned Window by John Hopkins. And it's like, just listen for this. Like, listen to the power of this mix, how loud it is, all that kind of stuff, and just try to get it uh, somewhere in that range. But yeah, thank you for sending that, that one through, Miguel. And thank you for the donation as well. All right. So, this next one here is going to be from... Oh, man, we got a lot. Okay. Next one is from Logan. Let's hear this. Where is it at? There we go. Pick your poison. More EDM-based is the Gunner one. This one is Sad Ramp. Sad Rap. Let's listen to some Sad Rap. I got clean... They look like. <laughs> three, 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 three. Oh, science. That is from SOV. Yeah, I gotta check that one out. Oh, this is like. Real emo rap. It's, I mean, it's a bit forgettable. There's, like, that kind of, like, pop-punk emo rap stuff. It's all right. I mean, I feel like it's, yeah, it's just very easy to, like, fall into the trap of doing the same thing that a lot of people have done. Like, that definitely sounds like something you would hear from, like, goth boy quick. Like, those type of uh people. It's not very, not very, uh you know, sound goofy. <laughs> I mean, dude, like, overall, yeah, not bad, dude. Like I said, a bit generic, but but it's not horrible. Also, I feel like a lot of people listen to that music and they're like, oh man, punk's not dead. But like, that's, that is, uh, that's like pop punk. <laughs> and 
Anyway, thank you for sending that one through. This next one is from FLP Nation. Let's hear this one. Ellis style FLP drop. Nice. I'm ready. Here it comes. Okay. That's one. Yeah, I feel you. cool FLP Nation. You gotta make that into a full track. You really gotta make that into a full track. Calvin Harris. Yeah, I mean, dude, I don't have what to say with this one. I think it's really fire. The only thing that's missing here is the rest of the song. Get some vocals. This is a really, really good track, FLP Nation. Um, I don't know if you do ghost production, but you should definitely be, like, hitting up labels to ghost produce this kind of stuff for them. Um, but, like, okay, here is why, like, a good example of why I thought, like, the EDM, ra like, rap stuff get, or not, like, EDM rap, because that sounds, or not, I wasn't talking about EDM, emo rap, like, that kind of stuff, where, like, those kind of, like, that kind of track I just played is, like, I don't think I could sing you a single melody from that EDM trap song. But, er, I keep calling it EDM, emo trap song. But this song, I could definitely sing this along. And I'm not saying, or sing along to this, or like remember it or whatever. Like, I'm not saying that is just a thing of EDM or just a thing of electronic music. There is hip hop, obviously, that's very, very good at doing that as well. It's just, that's what you need to work on. Like, this is really, really catchy. And that's kind of what I'm saying here. It's like that last track wasn't as catchy as this. This is really good, though. I don't really have a lot to say. FOP Nation. Dude, how old are you? Not that that's, like, weird, but <laughs> aren't you, like, super, super young? That's really cool. Playing the headliner festivals. Yeah, bro, you either need to be, like, ghost producing for some of these bigger labels or getting your own releases on these labels because this is fine. Like, this doesn't need any work. Like, it's there. Like, you could... De this is definitely on the same level as, like... As, like, Alice or something like that. Yeah, dude. Very good. Like I said, don't have a lot to say other than you need a full arrangement and you need some vocals and you need to send me the finished one. Well, <laughs> I'm six. Dude, well, for six years old, I mean, damn, bro. You haven't even been able to remember things <laughs> for like, for like, or for very long. I mean, age doesn't even matter, but I'm just saying, like, if you are super young making this kind of stuff, like, if you're, like, 15 or 16, like, that's crazy. Or even 17 or 18, like. Because, like, I'm 21, I'm about to be 22, and people call me young, but, like, I can only imagine, like, what your potential is if you are, like, even younger than that and, like, already a better producer. Like, this is crazy. What if he is really six? Maybe he is, bro. Yo, this is really good, FLP Nation. I don't have a lot to say. I need you to make this a full song, and I need you to send it to me, because that was really cool. Yeah, thank you for sending that one through, man. I like that a lot. Awesome. Well, this next one here is... ADG Beats. Let's see. Which beat are we going to play? Let's play this one. A Boogie with the Hoodie Type Beat. Nice. Younger is better. 18. Oh, dude, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I was 18, I could not make music that well. Well, dude, GL. Damn, ADG. I hear what you cooking. Woo!
I want to hear this other one real quick. I like these kind of beats. Yeah, dude, these are not bad beats. It does kind of show that, like, your drums are good, but then when I hear, like, the melodies, like, the drums you can get pretty simply. I feel for the style, I feel like it's hard to get, like, a really, really good mix. Yeah, but, like, the melodies are where it really makes a difference. And here I can tell, like, you need to work on your melodies and kind of, like, the that aspect, like, the melodic musical aspect to it. But yeah, thank you for seeing that one through, Adrian. The next one is from Justin Gonzalez. Let's hear this. Green meat. Gotta buy a new gear now. <laughs> Never without you on love. Never without you on love. I feel so unsure. As I take your hand and lead you to the dance floor. As the music dies, something in your eyes calls to mind a silver screen and all its sad goodbye. Can you please tell me it's about to turn into like rhythm dubstep. I'm never gonna dance again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, you know, I I <laughs> Dude, what if you were just watching Endgame and he just came out wearing like a full Supreme suit? And then Captain America was like in vape or something. <laughs> I got one more banger. All right, nice. Can't wait to hear that. How many bananas are you eating? I'm eating one banana very slowly. <laughs> it's because I keep forgetting. Okay, so the elements in this that are in the original and careless whisper, like this guitar and the vocals, are really good. Your stuff, like in the arrangement, or like not even just the arrangement, but like the sounds, like the drums and that bass and stuff, not really the best. Like I'm not crazy about this bass. I feel like you should use a different type of bass. It's a cool remix, but overall, I think you can just kind of work on it and kind of like speed it up a bit more, give us some more interesting stuff. That part right there would be really cool for some vocal chops. Anyway, yeah. Thank you for sending that one through, man. Like I said, not bad. Gotta keep going with it. Alright, this next one's from R and E. Let's hear this. We don't want vocals on our track. Make a really, really interesting song. <laughs> like, you just need like it's honestly possible, I think, to make a song that would be so interesting. Like, an instrumental song that would be so interesting and so good and so, like, sort of universally uh, reaching that it would be fine, even as an instrumental, to play on, like, the most basic American pop radio. Like, dude, think about, like, when Dubstep came out. Like, Scary Monsters are Nice Sprites, as much of a meme song as you guys may think that is, like, that song was played on the radio. Like, in America, when I was in high school then, I was hearing that song on the radio. That was basically an instrumental. Like, yeah, there's the vocal sample or whatever, but it's not, like, got vocals. And the reason for this is because Skrillex managed to make something that was so good and so captivating and so, like, universally just, like, it made sense to people universally that even though it had no, like, vocals or no vocal hook or whatever, you can still play it on the radio. So it's definitely possible to make a song that is so good even without vocals, like, music that normally has to have vocals. Obviously, I'm not talking about, like, techno or, like, drum and bass or something like that. But, like, yeah, basically what I'm saying here is, like, you can make a song. It just has to be so, 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 so good. <laughs> it's pretty hard. It wasn't. I know, dude. Crazy. 
Let's start for a second, my name is my mom. <laughs> hey, stop eating so many bananas. No, it's the reason I got an Ampton Me too. Okay. Well, that's like not just me and you, that's many people. or exciting to me it's just kind of like a you know gonna go baby type like guitar beat like it's not bad dude it's just i mean there are just so many of these type of beats like if you just look up guitar beat on youtube you'll find a million of these so that's what you need to work on is you need to do something that makes it more interesting and more unique and makes it your own all right let's hear this next one thank you for seeing that one through arnie this next one here is from ramishwar i think i'm pronouncing that right let's hear this boy you gave me a show that we know. you style over this <laughs> That's the USB with scary ones, I know. You showed me <laughs> love <laughs> Freestyle about your master chain. Yo. You help me fight when I was Don't put anything on your master chain. Oh. And you made me laugh when I was What are you talking about, Dead I know, I'm not like, I'm not arguing about the logistics of like how people discover scary monsters in nice ways. I'm just saying, he managed to make a song, and obviously he knew how to get it out there, and he did the right thing, but, like, he managed to make a song, like, from an artistic standpoint, that worked. But I'm just saying about that. Although you guys might be roasting each other, I don't even know. You I'm on, you I'm on, I've got my guard up today. Be away with MC3 track, yeah, or a song called like so Justin Bieber's came, album came out. Hey dude, you're on the right track here. I remember you singing this one in the other day. The only advice I can give you now is I still think those melodies aren't like the best. It's weird how I can like remember this because I've heard so much music since you sent this in. It's like the same thing with like people's names in the chat. Like even you guys like who thought I would have forgotten you. I don't forget. Like I still remember this stuff. That's cool. Um, even though like I've heard a lot of stuff in between this and the first time I heard this and now. So like. Yeah, same thing, dude. Like, just need to work on the melodies a little bit more of that. Like, that kind of stuff. You have some really, really good ones, and then you have some that don't really fit as well. The only advice I can give you is I still think like those melodies, the little guitar, like at the end of every like little bit could use a bit of work. Other than that though, not bad dude. Thank you for uh thing or thing I went through. This next one here is from Random Waves. Let's hear this. AKA Eric. Alright, let's hear this. I was going for pops a strap instrumental for a singer. Nice. Hi Julian. Yo, Ish Eshay, not sure to say any. Hello, good to see you. Wow.
Vogel. Lena Vogel Job ist cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I like this vocal chops a lot. I like this part. This is cool. My only piece of advice is this, like, <laughs> this little lead here, this doo -doo -doo -doo. All of a sudden feels like it's, like, Christian music. Like, I feel like that's what you hear in, like, a song about, like, Jesus, which, obviously, probably not what you're going for. Not really the best. <laughs> this part is very cool, though. Just make like a more interesting melody here. Like this just feels like it's just. I mean, the reason why it sounds like a religious song is because typically religious songs are not the most uh, interesting writing. But like, it's not bad, bro. You just gotta keep working on it. And like, I like this part a lot. You need to capture that energy uh, more throughout the track. I say, I say. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem. Cool beat, though. I do really like that one part. I would donate my card. Ah, oh, that's all good. I remember seeing a Twitch link in your bio. You don't stream there. No, I don't. I used to. It's just like, every time I would stream on Twitch, it's like, bro, I'm already on YouTube. Like, all these people. Like, I get so many more viewers just because I'm on YouTube. I don't know. I feel like I'd rather not try to get over the hurdle of, like, trying to get people to basically come to my Twitch, you know? Um, but yeah, thank you for singing with the Random Waves, a.k.a. Eric. Let's hear this next one from Riyadh. Track. Hey, Julian, how you doing? DJ, good lad again. Let's hear this. Also, I'm still listening, but I'm going to grab some water real quick. We'll do things for no problem. <laughs> Farmers only ChristianMingle.com <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a melody from that sounded like a melody from like a ChristianMingle.com uh video. Call your track Christian. I mean I'm just saying bro, like I've heard some uh some not not so good like there's just something about like the religious music where they're like, you know what bro? Nobody's gonna care anyway. We can just use the most basic melodies, most basic chord progressions. And that's what you gotta watch out for when you're making pop music. <laughs> Ranks player. Hello, by the way. Good to see you. Sorry, St. Julian die with a glass of water. What? Warehouse staff. I kind of see where you're going with this. I think it's a bit, like, repetitive. Like, kind of just the same. And the really strong, like, 808 drums. 
Try to add something more interesting to it. Try adding a pad or like a string or maybe a vocal sample. A vocal sample could definitely help. Like something to kind of bring this to life. I think I'm saying that one through. This next one is from Curtis Bills. This, there's like two parts. Nice. Good advice. DJ, good lad. Should learn a bit of automation. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, urban. I'm pretty sure you might not be from America, but I'm pretty sure in America when people say something is urban, it's like a very racist or like a very like sort of like backhanded way of being racist. So yeah, definitely not definitely not an adjective we're gonna use to describe music in in this chat. But yeah, <laughs> definitely could work on the mix, add more instruments. Yeah, exactly. It's just a little bit empty. So to keep this type of genres interesting throughout the whole track. That is true, and it definitely helps when you're at a club as well. Like, you know. And uh, when you're hearing it like that, it's a lot bigger, but I don't know. Anyway, needs automation. Wow. This is cool. The rumble in the kick is a little bit too loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> another demo mate hey i'll probably be ending it i'm not sure pretty soon i'm gonna go through and see like how many submissions i have because i have some stuff that i need to do but i want to i want to keep hanging out with you guys yeah i'm gonna play some more there's some kind of like this track isn't the strongest But there's something to it. Like, the groove is really good. Yes, I have some stuff. Noise drums, boy. More something new. Yeah, I mean, I get that. Like, in the most literal sense, like, calling a song, like, urban isn't bad. But, like, typically here, like, there will be an award. Like, for example, they'll have, like, an award. Like, it'll be, like, the best, like, pop song and then the best, like, urban song. And it's, like, kind of a, like... I don't know. It's kind of like a way that I feel like in America that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of racism <laughs> in the music industry, and it's just like a way that that is kind of further pushed. I don't know. I wasn't prepared to talk about this. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I don't have anything prepared. But you get what I'm saying. Like, it's one of those words where it's like not like inherently like racist just by saying the word, but like the way that people use it in America is like extremely racist. I feel. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being an SJW. Let's listen to this track. Till the end? Dude, probably. Wait for nothing. I mean, let me see, like... I don't know. I'm gonna go through and listen to him quickly. Hard to say in a pal. <laughs> hey, this one's cool. Curtis, you have something cool here. You just gotta work on it. Make your kick a bit harder. Bring up all the drums in general, like even in this part. When you have the good sort of like rhythm going on there with the hi-hats, it still needs a bit more like, the hi-hats just need to be a bit stronger. So all of that kind of stuff you just need to work on. But yeah, thank you for sending that one through, Curtis. The next one is from Francisco, a.k.a. Cisco in the chat. Enjoy the stream. Nice. Flapper. Yeah, that too much reverb. Yeah, that last track, yeah. Then we need to clean up the rumble a little. This one's sounding good though. Oh, you guys, Nicholas, what's up? Yeah, precisely. It's used, it's like really like backhanded. Like it's a way of like kind of saying it without like saying it for people who may have certain like yeah. Where are you from? I am. From, oh. This is good. This one's cool. This one's alright. 
I feel like you could work on giving it more of like an art bat type of vibe. Like they have a similar thing where it's like this kind of, you know, constantly going house track. But like if you listen. Yeah, like I said, it's like very synthy, kind of like groovy uh, house track of that style. But like, what you need to do is just kind of get a bit closer to that vibe. Like, listen to how they bring their kicks up and their drums and all that kind of stuff. And just kind of get it on a more even level. Um, Young Duck, Young Duke, Young Duke, thank you for the donation, dude. I appreciate that. I'm going to pull up your track now. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Like I said. Um, yeah, thank you very much for sending this one through as well as Cisco. This next one here is from where is it at? Yundook. Let's hear this. Hey Julian, watching the stream right now. Appreciate any feedback. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I wouldn't necessarily say more since Cisco. I would say just better use of the ones you already have. Yeah, I like your art, your uh, logo here. That's really cool. That's actually really cool. Oh yeah, dude, all your artwork is really sick. Are you like an illustrator or do you have like somebody working with you? I've always wanted to have an illustrator to just do like everything for me like that. Just send one of my track. No. This art, yeah, this artwork is really cool, dude. Yo, <laughs> check this Illuminati. Yes, it is confirmed by the eye on the horse's forehead. The third eye or whatever. We are the light. <laughs> Dude, that's cool, actually. I'm down to hear that. I just like to hear everything. We are the light. This was not bad, you're not. I think this part's going on a little bit too long, though. Feels a little bit like a scene in a movie that goes on too long. We you could have made this break a bit, like, a bit shorter, or done more with it. That's cool, though. You're in Corn Unleashed. Ranked player, what's up? Yeah, I pretty much know what I need to say about this one. So you know, this one's really good, dude. I like this a lot. Um, I think you can clean it up a bit. For example, this part, the kick is way too thin. The bass is overtaking it. The bass doesn't really have enough like deep. Like it's mostly just like a sine wave. So you need to add some more texture to that. Maybe like a bit of some saturation, or maybe like if you're using FM, like add a bit more of like another oscillator into there. But yeah, just like that kind of stuff, like, I would just try to bring it to life a little bit more, like. You have something cool going on here, it just kind of feels like the skeleton of something, like, really, really good. Guy on Fiverr is next level. Yeah, if you're just, like, getting these off of Fiverr, that's crazy. Hold up a second, I missed that. I got some guy on Fiverr. Bro, dude, I need to, I need to do that. Like, why have not, why have I not done that? I totally forgot about that idea. I'm used to like, all right, let's go on Behance, find like the best illustrator ever who's done like all these different projects and then like somehow sympathize with them to uh, <laughs> to draw something for me. But like, yeah, dude, you can just go on Fiverr and get some people. Wow, I need to do something like that. 
But also, like, Fiverr is kind of, like, the death of, like, the design industry. Like, that's the other thing. <laughs> it's, like, because it's so easy to go on there and because, like, people like you and me, like, definitely will go on there, it's, like, not, uh, yeah, not not really great for, like, the industry of people who are, like, going to college and, like, trying to get, like, an actual, like, serious job through that. <laughs> I can do this on LA Fitness. Dude, at LA Fitness, I go to LA Fitness. They always play, like, trance music, but it's, like, trance that I don't really like. And, like, 2012 electro remixes of, like, the songs that were popular in 2012. Okay, yeah, bro. So this is not bad. It just gets a bit boring in the middle. Other than that, I would keep working on it. And yeah, thank you. For saying that one through your new. All right, let's see. This next one here is from. Play this one from. No, no. Let's hear this. Hey, I'm a Portuguese amateur producer. This is my latest finished track, and it was already heard by one of the biggest. Nice. Let's hear it. Use some vocals. Also, Cisco. Yeah, I said uh, Art Matt. That was that was the people you should listen to. Those were. Yeah, to be honest with you, dude, no, no, this kind of feels like three different beats. You have, like, the 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 little, like, melody that's playing. You have the pad, which sounds like it's from a completely different song. And you have the bass and the drums, which sound like they're from a completely different song. <laughs> that EXE stops working. Electro remixes. Make America sexy again. <laughs> yeah, like, that kind of, those, yep, precisely. Okay, anyway. Yeah, bro. This is, like, it just, it's just kind of disjointed. Like, everything just feels... Like, it's all from, like, different places. You need to take it and just kind of consolidate it and focus more on one vibe. Um, Cool. Let's hear this next one from Brian. Attachment 1. All right. Ooh. Hear that vinyl noise in there. Keep the rap on That's true. There's also, like, very likely... That if, like, Chief Keef did rap on that and then put it out and I heard that, I'd be like, wow, this is crazy. This is the wave. Like, that's kind of the thing. <laughs> this is cool. Very, like... No problem, Linda. Like, yeah. Sometimes it can uh, validate. Anyway. Yeah, this is not bad, Brian. I think, I mean, it's a bit boring to me. Like, it's cool. You have some nice elements, but it's kind of just going on and on with, like, a lot of the same stuff. So I would work on that and just try to bring it to life and do a bit more. Anyway, yeah, this next one here is from 808 Jaeger. Let's hear this. Got into Retro Wave. Nice. Works a little too bright for me. Wow, I like this in here. Where the chords? I can 
imagine like logic rapping on this. <laughs> This one, um, I wouldn't replace the drums with like trap drums. I don't know, I'm not really into the live drums. Uh, I think the synths are a bit loud and like everything just sounds very compressed. I would just try to, uh, clean it up overall. Alright, this next one, let's see, how many more am I, do I have here to play? Let's see if I can play through, alright, let's play. This next one from James Poole. Let's hear it. Hey, Julian. This is a Tech House track. I'm working on called Gone Off. Hope you like it. Here, boy. Logic. It just sounds like one of those type of... <laughs> one of those type of beats where you'd be like, Yo, I'm so woke. <laughs> Yeah, like he'd be like, yo, this is not trap drums. Let me use this beat. Wait a sec. Alright, this one's alright. It's kind of boring hearing that brown, 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 over and over again. I would work on that. You have a pretty good mix of your drums. You could probably turn down the hi hat. They're like, <laughs> the open hi hat. Or the one that's playing on the upbeats, basically. It's not bad, dude. You just gotta keep working on this, like, just make it a bit more interesting and kind of, uh, tighten it up a bit. Alright, let's play you more here. This next one is from Je Kevin Stroga. Wrong person. I sent the wrong link. Let's hear it. Ask their secret. Thickness, yeah. Bass not not it, yeah. Yo, this one's cool, man. Now, there's some advice I can give you. For sure. Like, I don't think it's... Okay, dude. This is alright. It's a bit repetitive. Um, it definitely sounds like something that would come out on Roulette back in like the day. Uh, like Roulette, as in like Tomas Bung out there, his label. It really has that vibe. This reminds me of like Club Soda, or, like one of those kind of tracks. But the problem is, is that your drums mix is kind of weird. Like, dude, your hi hats are so quiet. It almost sounds like you turn like. You're like no passing the song or something. Work more on the bass. Yeah, just turn the hi hats up, dude. And also, get like more high end in your kick, dude. Like I said, it just sounds like you took the whole drums and just put like a low pass filter on them, which is not really, not really the best thing. I would definitely keep working on that. That sounds good though. But think of this thing that went through. This next one is from. Jens Grinley. Let's hear this. I've heard this loop before. Ah, yeah, there we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. Man, this is... Oh, 
Boy Illuminati meet. <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> I felt Cabo. <laughs> okay, dude, this is like mind blowing. Like to be honest with you, like I I don't know. Like this is crazy. This is very unique. I've never heard anything like this. I can see the influence there. Like I can hear like like you know like kid type stuff in there. Like like the super distorted like crazy type of like modern EDM type drops. <laughs> uh, like these kind of tracks where it's just like crazy distortion type vibes. We know like this kind of stuff where it's just like so extremely like heavy. I can definitely see the influence there. The thing that you need to work on, though, is you need to take this style, which you've created, you're doing something new, you got something interesting, and you need to kind of just bring it to life a little bit more. Like you need to just work on it, keep refining it, keep improving it, dude. Like, just all that kind of stuff. It is really not bad. Like, it's really not. You have a cool idea, you're going, you're doing something tight here. You just got to keep working on it and keep trying to uh, keep improving it because I think it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but... This is like definitely your style. Like this is really cool. <laughs> From the ghost producer of Flume. Is this on Rocket League yet? <laughs> yeah, dude, this is fun. <laughs> like all that cool stuff you're doing with the sample. Really tight, dude. I like that a lot. Um I would just keep working on it a bit. Alright, I'm gonna play this next one from FLP Nation because I wanna hear this. I hope you're still here, bruh. Oh yeah, there you go, okay. <laughs> You just commented right as I was saying that. Perfect timing. Project on my brother. I feel you. Okay, yeah, no problem. Thank you for subscribing. This is really good. I like that. It'd be cool if that was going like ear to ear though. Like what if you had going like like panning? <laughs> well, it might actually already be doing that. That's the type of Yeah, this is like very much this style. I'm this big. Hey, nice one. Bro, this one is huge. I don't really have a lot to say. Um, if you're gonna sell this to someone as a ghost production, you probably don't need it, but definitely like if you're gonna release this, I would get some vocals on this for sure. Obviously, I mean that's probably a very obvious thing. Like, I don't know, man, this is really good. Even though you said this is kind of the older version, like you said, the final version is on your brother's PC. Very, very fire. The only thing I did here that I didn't really like was here. When it gets like when that riser kind of like goes down in volume. It feels a little weird. I don't know. I feel like it should just stay the same volume and then everything drops, you know. So, other than that, very, uh, 
Very fire. Pretty cool. Does anyone know what happened to Moore and Fasting? Yo, I haven't heard that name in a while. I know, bro. What happened to his music? You think he would be like... Uh, I think he put out some music recently, actually, like in the past like year or so, but... Man, I miss him from back in like the back in the day. Back in like 2014 days, 2013. It's hard to think as far like the other demo. Can someone write his email? What's Gucci? Marinus, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, awkward time because I'm actually about to, about to head off. Well, guys, yeah, I've been shooting for almost two hours now. I am uh, I got a lot of stuff I got to go and do. Um, but thank you so much to everybody who came through. Thank you so much to everybody who donated as well. Really appreciate all the donations, guys. Today, you have been, uh, yeah, really helped me out. I appreciate that. I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I'll be back Saturday streaming. So if your track didn't get listened to today, I'll probably check it out on Saturday. But yeah, thank you so much, everybody. I love you all. Peace.